Alrighty, given that, like a lot of the rest of the world, we are in lockdown here in New Zealand, so that we don't spread the naughty little virus, I've moved on from trying to fix my P100D that I wouldn't be able to take anywhere to play with, um, and instead I've moved on to um, fixing the ride-on mower, because um, I I've changed BMSs on it, or I'm changing BMSs. So I'm going with an Orion Junior, and I've just wired in all the cells, and I've done it fairly messily because I haven't got a proper plan, but you know, something working is better than nothing working. And we've got this wonderful tap validation tool. So let's check. This basically enables you to see that you've wired your BMS cables up properly without frying the BMS itself. So you've got things like the um, the Batrium, which has each of its little computers on board each cell, so you can't really wire it backwards, but this one where you bring all the cables back to a central location. Let's see. Standard press and hold for three seconds to swap Junior, there we go. So what does it have to tell me? It's like using a Game Boy, isn't it? Sorry, can you actually see that screen? There we go. Bank one, bank two, good. C is correctly wired, C, 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 C. And the last one doesn't have a wire in it. Oh yeah. Give myself a high five. C plus, C minus. Everything's all right. All right, and cell voltages. I'd prefer it if it gave me actual cell voltages rather than cumulative, because I'm not good at deducting one from the other very quickly. But nice. So I can plug that into the BMS without fear of blowing it up. Excelente. So that's the connector that goes in there. Don't need that one because that's communication if you don't have CAM. And this, this little baby is going to have CAM. It's also possibly going to have CHAMO. So we're going to have a fast charge on a slow, slow vehicle. I need to get on and wire all of this, which is things like the charge relays and the... Um, current sensors and what what not and also the really nice thing which is it your throttle takes a five volt input or well, maybe this one doesn't but in general you've got a potentiometer that's a five volt input you can wire it through this so when the battery starts to get low it will reduce that five volt so even if you're on full throttle it will cut the power slightly which first of all means you don't over spike a flat battery you don't take too much out of a flattening battery which is a very good thing for flattening batteries and two it also gives the operator feedback that the battery is going flat they might have a red flashing light they might have an empty fuel gauge they might have all these things but you know what humans are like you know i run my laptop until that thing is completely empty whereas <clears throat> if this starts slowing down or if whatever you're running starts slowing down, it's very good feedback to say, all right, you need to charge. So that's all good. Um, can't believe what a mess this thing looks like. It's funny looking at it with my eyes doesn't look so ridiculous, but looking at it through my um, camera phone screen, <laughs> it's an absolute pile of chaos. But yep, I'll get it all sorted out and be able to mow the grass because the grass doesn't care about the virus it's still growing especially now that we've had some rain finally whereas yep the cars do care about the virus or the humans do care about the virus and so we're not allowed to use them all right wherever you are stay safe um hope you're coping with the lockdown or whatever you're you've got in your country well um and i hope us wealthier countries can remember that I think I've heard the phrase we're only as strong as our weakest link or of course I've heard that phrase 
um, and we give some compassion, financial and expertise assistance to the less privileged nations, the less developed nations, the ones that got raped and pillaged by what is now Western culture to make Western culture rich. Yeah, I hope we as a, soci as a society pull together and help a lot of people out. All right, as I've said before, um, stay safe, stay well, do whatever you need to do to keep smiling as long as it doesn't upset other people. And if you've got a spare bit of wealth or time, figure out the best charities to give your money to because, dude, there's people worse off than you and me. All right, man. That went heavy when I'm talking about a bloody BMS. See you guys later.